on. Now, I did end up putting three layers on because I want these. They're not really thick, but sometimes they can be a little bumpy. And when filing, I don't want it to be like really like uneven. So their powder is really fine, fine like. So it does seem that you may have to use a little more just to get it at the thickness that you want. But that's fine. You know, I, I don't mind mine like that. So that was the base coat that I just did. And now we're going to be doing the activator. Let's put on some activator. Now granted, um, I think they probably sent me directions, but guess what? I have lost them somewhere. So... I'm going to apply this all over the nail, like so. I'm just going to drench that whole nail in it. Now, I'm assuming that it's like most dip powders that you're dealing with here. Um, I'm hoping anyways, and if not, we're in trouble, because like I said, I don't know what I did with the directions. I thought I had them laying here with it, but I was cleaning my room the other day, so I probably tossed it and didn't realize it. Ooh, guess what? I have a new drill coming that I got in today that I've got to review for you guys. Um, I haven't had the chance to get it out and review it yet, but I will be doing that for you all. So that is completely saturated. Sorry guys, my little puppies are all over the place. These little puppies, I mean, my goodness, they fight like cats and dogs. I think they fight worse than what my kids did. I cannot believe my nails are short right now. And believe it or not, I cut them down when I put my um, my tips on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait at least five minutes. And then we're going to buff this layer. And then we're going to apply another layer of activator. So uh, let me let these dry for about three to five minutes. And I will be back, guys. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the edges. Guys, I cannot believe I don't have nails on. Like, what? <sighs> Am I going to be able to live without nails on? Probably not. Now, dip is, I mean, you can use a drill on this part, but if you do, be very, very cautious because these layers are so thin that you don't want to hit your natural nail. I just prefer to use a file or a buffing block. And I'm just going to go back and forth like this until it's all even. Of course, I have to look and check, of course. So I'm actually just going to go around the edges and I am going to make sure none of this is in my cuticle or nothing. So now I'm going to go back in with the activator. And I'm just going to apply this all over the nail.
Okay, so at this point you can apply your top coat if you want, if you just want plain nails, but I'm not going to be using the top coat. I'm actually going to be using my Venom A base coat because I'm going to do a little bit of chrome powders.
guys. So that's what I came up with. Just a simple mani with some beautiful holographic chrome powders. I will leave the link to these down below for you guys so you can go check them out. But just look how beautiful that is. I could just stare at that all day, guys. Beautiful. So now I'm just going to add some of this stuff, cuticle oil, after soaking in acetone or filing everything off. And I like to put some cuticle oil on my nails. So. And just rub that in. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button guys. Make sure, <coughs> make sure to go ahead, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell to get all my latest uploads guys. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. I love you all. Bye.